What is going on, ladies and gents? It is Kuyal back with another review. Except I am here on Core Music Promotions. It's a great way that I can help out some friends, you know, get some get some stuff started, you know what I'm saying? And uh yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing Lorna Shore's new album, Blesh Coffin. Well, to begin with, they released two singles from the album. One was called Funeral Moon, and the other one was called Denounce the Light. When Funeral Moon got released, it was all over Spotify, and I dug the shit out of it. I was like, whoo, this, this is good. I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I was like, it's a 10, 11, 12-track album, so they'll probably release another single, right? And they did. And oh my god, <laughs> it was even better than the first one. Started out really, really light, you know, and then it just fucking progressed and it got so heavy. <sighs> it's my favorite progression of a song, and it got like super chuggy at the end, like, you know, something that you'd crowd kill your grandma to. <laughs> at first glance of the album artwork, I like it a lot because it's actually really simplistic. I know everybody's like, oh, dude, it's death chords. <laughs> It has to have that super like wicked art that you pay five hundred dollars for, not something scribbled out on a piece of paper. Well, let me tell you where you're wrong because first of all, there's a moon on the album, and the first song that they released was "Funeral Moon," so it sets the mood of the album really, really well. I dig it. I'm so happy with it. So my favorite track off of the album is Offering the Fire, which is the first track of the album because um, it's their first offering of this fire album, you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> no, but in all actuality, it's a, it's a great song. It starts off really, really creepy and slow, and I love the feel of that. I love how it just... You know, it's all like, ah, this is going to be something crazy. Uh, all of a sudden, it just kicks in. And you're like, oh, my God. And then the second track on the album is Denounce the Light, which does the same thing. And then the thir third track is The Astral Wake of Time, which is just straight chug. So everything molds together into one just incredible album. And it just continues to have that somewhat progression throughout the whole album, so it fits well when you listen it from first song to last song. The only problem I have with this band and this album is the vocalist is very tightly packed. He doesn't have very versatile screams. He has about three. He has the highs, the lows, and the mids, right? And that's fine, because the fact that they have all these polyrhythms and all this other guitar work and drum work that's different with that vocalist that does the same three screams, it's okay because he utilizes them differently to the point where it works. Everything works, and it's just, yes. So overall, if I could give anybody one piece of advice, don't sleep on this album. You will regret it if you do not listen to it. It will be in your boy Kuyal's top five deathcore releases of 2017. I can guarantee it. I can promise it. It is a fantastic album. I rate it 11 out of 10. There is zero flaws in this album. As, an, as a matter of fact, what I want you to do is instead of listening to it on Spotify like me because I'm a pleb, I want you to pick up a physical copy. There's links to their merch website in the description. If you could go support my boys in Lorna Shore, that'd be sweet. Well, that's all I have time for for today. Uh, there's also a link to my personal channel in the description, so if you guys could go subscribe to that, that would just be fantastic and help me out a lot. I do band reviews and gaming videos with a couple of friends, and we have a good time. It's all fun and games on the Kuyal channel, so come check me out. <clears throat> This has been Kuyal's first video for uh, Core Music Promotions, and expect a lot more to come. Um, be sure to always support any band that Core Music Promotions uh, supports, because all of these bands are completely flawless. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, expect another review soon.